Williams is the next lifter. All right, Scott Dobbins, 788 for this Texan, Texas A&M Aggie. 788 pounds. Scott Dobbins. Wow, 788, like it was nobody's business. Are we going to be able to get that one? Here we go. <laughs> nobody's business, 788, making it look um, like a paperweight. All right, here we go. All right. Scott Dobbins is our lifter. Scott Dobbins moves the bar to 832 pounds for Texas A&M. This is going to be a collegiate and junior record. 832 pounds for Scott Dobbins. And he makes it look easy. Here we go, the replay there. See this record in action. Yeah, he destroys the depth on it. That was amazing. Nice lift for Scott to 849 pounds. This lifter who's 264. And he's right, he's right about there. He's about 118 out of 120 as far as his kilos are concerned. All right, here we go. Huge Scott Dobbins, 849 pounds. Got to crush the collegiate and junior record right now that he just reset. What's that now, Dr. Pat? I got to join you. This is amazing. He crushed it. He truly crushed it. I mean, the uh, record the record in the open is 410. Here we go. He's got it here. Replay. Wow. Huge, huge lift there for Scott Dobbins. I did not get that. So Scott Dobbins, uh, huge, huge squat by him. 8.50, right, Dave? Correct, 8.50. 545-pound opening attempt here in the bench press. That's pretty big. All right, let's see here. He's coming on out. It's interesting enough that they uh, that they get an opportunity to wear their team's singlet on the bench press because it's the the singlets themselves uh, aren't suits. Oh yeah, right. 
I noticed that on each of the benching uh, attempts, most of the teams are able to wear some kind of, you know, representative of their university because they're just putting the shirt on, which is cool. I like that. Yeah, I like the team colors too. It's going to be an Aggie celebration, I think. Wow, that's awesome. And that was Tristan Naselrod, and he had a good lift. Uh, here we are, Scott Dobbins, 562. No problem here. You know, you know who was a big, big factor. Oh no, I guess not in the men's, but either way for big te Texas A&M win um, was this young lady right here. Oh, uh, Ashley Andrews. Ashley Andrews, but not doesn't count for the men's team, of course. No, but, but but either way, big win for for Texas A&M. Yeah, in fact, they won both classes at the same time because Ashley Andrews won, and then Nathan. Uh, Speaking about Ian Bell, that was him that just walked by, no? Yes, that is Ian Bell. Lift is good there for Scott Dobbins. Nice work, 562. All right, Jesse Scott Dobbins for A&M looking to go three for three in the bench press. 573 on the bar for him. And as I said, uh, Dobbins uh, easily, easily out totaling uh, the entire crew here. Yeah, he's fighting hard for it. Let's see if he's going to get the lockout. I don't think he's going to get it, though. It's not looking good. All right, nice try there by Scott Dobbins. That's a no lift. All right. The next lifter, Scott Dobbins, 639. Now, we've seen Scott um, move some massive weight today. This is for the team? All right, so this will be for the team title. If he pulls here... Um, Texas A&M will clinch the men's title and take it away from the University of Texas Longhorns. And that's it, folks. There you go. That names the men's title. All right, here we go, Scott Dobbins. Scott Dobbins, this is gonna be your number one lifter for this class. And that was 677 and making it look easy, 677 for the 264s. All right, Gino really knows how to get the crowd fired up. When Scott pulled his opener, that solidified Texas A&M Men's Club as the um, uh, the winning club for the weekend. Uh, and here we are now with his final deadlift attempt, 700 pounds. And the room blowing up for Scott Dobbins for 700. I don't think he's going to get it. I think he's Oh, they gave it to him. Whoa. 700 pounds. And that ends with a 958 kilo total. Here comes the replay on that. Check this out. I want to see here, and I don't want to take it away from him, but let's see what he's got here right at the end. Let's see if that full bar drops there. You know what? It doesn't. I don't see a full bar drop. It just kind of shook there at the end. I think I think it's good lift. It looked like a legitimate lift. I like it. Nice work there by that Texas A&M Aggie and their whole crew today, uh, and their whole crew for the whole weekend because uh, Texas A&M has now solidified the men's uh, first place position. 